Last week, you may recall a mighty burr oak in Jefferson County made some headlines. The 150 year old tree was in the way of a new highway project and was cut down and emotions ran high. Tonight, traveler Mark Kane went to Platteville for the story of a different mighty oak, not in danger of being cut down, but on the verge of becoming famous. Mark Hirsch is a professional photographer, used to be a newspaper man. Now a freelancer, he travels the rolling hills of the driftless area of southwestern Wisconsin every day. One day, he decided to stop and take a picture of a tree. I've been driving by this thing for 20 years, you know. I'm a hunter, fisherman, mountain biker, so I appreciate the outdoors, but I'd never made a frame of this thing. Mark just got a new iPhone, so for fun, he decided to take a picture with it, of the tree. When he got home and downloaded it, he couldn't believe his eyes. Well, I was, I was astounded. And I was, I literally, my thought was, you gotta be kidding me. It's just ridiculous. So whenever Mark was in the area, he makes the hike from Airport Road about a quarter of a mile through a cornfield to snap a shot or two of this tree. He posted them online. Then... On March 23rd, a friend of mine sent me a note on Facebook. He's like, dude, what's with you and that tree? You should do a photo a day with it. And so March 24th, I officially started it, and that's where the name came from. That dude, that what is what's with you and that tree? <laughs> and a year-long journey began. Every day, sometimes a couple times a day, Mark came down to take a picture of that tree. Did it become <laughs> a chore? You know, it, it never did. Um, it became a commitment, but uh, I, I was never stressed by the process. Frankly, it was an escape. With this, the tree doesn't move. It just kind of sits there looking pristine on the horizon line, and, and I don't have an arsenal of lenses to, to fall back on. And I would just come down here and it was kind of a contemplative escape from reality and um, kind of liberating. Didn't have any gear, just an iPhone. Just an iPhone, a professional eye and a vivid imagination. Early on, it was relatively easy. I mean, it's, it's a really, it's a beautiful tree. I mean, you look at the form of it, it's kind of in an interesting spot. It's got this precarious existence on the fringe of a cornfield. Astonishing to me that it's still there. And, uh, yeah, made absolutely. what I would say were easy, nice compositions for the first two or three weeks. And then, then all of a sudden I kind of hit the wall and I'm like, holy crap, now what am I going to do? What Mark did was to press on. Then one day, 205 days to go. And then I'm wandering around and I'm, I'm just thinking to myself, oh my gosh, 205 days to go. What have I gotten myself into? And I just, I just chilled and slowed down and took a walk around the tree and and I, I think that was on or about the time I, I photographed a moth or something you know I don't remember exactly what the picture was but you know I like many days after that I stopped worrying about it. He stopped worrying about it and started snapping pictures. Every day for a year through the snow and the heat the good weather and the bad Mark visited that tree. No vacations no days off and a funny thing happened along the way he made a new friend. Do you feel a connection with oh, this? Absolutely, are you kidding me? Yeah, and I, re I refer to it in the female sense. I mean, I call it, you know, her. When I first started the project, you know, I was talking about, oh, I'm taking pictures of this tree in a cornfield. And then, then it's taken on a, a whole different level of appreciation, respect. Respect for a tree that started as an acorn 163 years ago. She has weathered those years well, that tree. They say a picture's worth a thousand words. 365 pictures of that tree, it leaves you nearly speechless. Traveling near Platteville, I'm Mark Kane, WISC News 3. If that tree could talk. Mark Hirsch has chronicled his year-long project. A book of all 365 pictures is coming out this summer. We've got a link on channel3000.com to his website where you can pre-order that book and take a look at those pictures. That's something else.